Pocket Now's iPhone 7 coverage is brought to you by dbrand. To buy the best fitting skin for your phone or tablet, please visit dbrand.com. The one-year upgrade is increasingly becoming a tricky recommendation for any manufacturer. Apple has introduced some novel features not found before on previous iPhones, but is that enough to motivate you to part with your cash? Here are four reasons for upgrading from an iPhone 6S to the iPhone 7, and three arguments against. First up, a little housekeeping, you can pause the video here to see which specs have been improved moving from the 6S to the 7. Now, what's hot? Water resistance. Having a proper rating of IP67 definitely delivers some peace of mind for folks who might be inclined to drop their phones into some sort of body of water. Stereo speakers. As an evolved primate living on this planet, it's statistically likely that you listen to the world around you through some balance of having two ears. Providing two speakers on the iPhone 7 should better satisfy that stereo listening experience. The improved camera. Okay, so in daylight, the differences aren't earth shattering, but the wider aperture and hardware image stabilization on the iPhone 7 certainly helps deliver better photos and videos over last year's iPhone 6S, especially in lower light situations. You want the one with more GBs. We're all very happy to see the 16 gigabyte iPhone is finally dead, but even folks who opted to buy an iPhone with more storage, those additional storage tiers deliver a lot more bang for your buck. So what's not hot? Headphone audio. Sure, the speakers got better, but Apple's courageous move to eliminate the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack results in a cumbersome set of solutions. Out of the box, the ear pods and headphone adapter deliver ever so slightly lower audio quality, and it's up to the consumer to keep track of this fiddly little thing. Plus, the ear pods in the box no longer work with anything else other than iPhones and iPads. Sorry, MacBook users. To improve the convenience or the audio quality requires the user to buy additional expensive accessories on top of the purchase price of one of the most expensive phones of the year. That battery life. Sure, the battery got bigger, but so did the phone's horsepower. In almost all of our testing, the iPhone 7 fell slightly behind the iPhone 6S, and our 6S has a one-year-old battery. We're not expecting this year's smaller iPhone to be remembered as a battery champ. A disease we'll call the sameness. And why increase the CPU core count when so much of this phone is the same as last year's? Same overall dimensions and design as the iPhone 6, same screen resolution, same RAM, even updating to iOS 10, last year's iPhone 6S doesn't feel that far behind for performance. While Apple is the most successful company on the planet in converting geeky tech stuff into lifestyle accessories, even with new black color options this year, the iPhone 7 just doesn't feel like the fashion vanguard this brand once represented. Let's wrap this up. There you have it, folks. Four reasons for and three reasons against the one-year upgrade. Do you think the iPhone 7 brings enough to the table for Apple fans to consider flipping their iPhone 6S? Hit the more info icon in the upper corner to vote in our viewer poll. Pocket Now's iPhone coverage is brought to you by dbrand. Check out dbrand.com to customize your iPhone with a real-time preview. dbrand skins are designed to add grip, texture, and kill those jet black iPhone fingerprints. They ship worldwide and iPhone skins start at under 10 bucks. If you're interested, links are in the description below. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for our full iPhone 7 coverage, including our iPhone 7 Plus real camera review, so you can see what those dual cameras can really do. For Pocket Now, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, some gadget guy on Twitter and Instagram, and I will catch you all on the next comparison. Oh my.